Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to review the simple metal door handle tutorial. It's marked as beginner, but I want to show you here something. This is a beginner, it's a simple tutorial. I want to show you here, if you scroll down, you can see which tools it's being used. I think I have not shown this before. Um, so the idea here, it's using materials. It's not an exact order, materials actually used at the end. But materials is given, used to make it look like metal. And then it uses extrusion, this is the most interesting part from this tutorial it's going to use macros with extrusion and then it uses difference which is a part of the stitch and scoop boolean operations which is the basic structure from the entire tutorial and then it's using fillet to make basically things like uh, beveled at the edges and then it uses basic shapes cylinder and cube and it uses some of the advanced selection tools so that's basically all it is it's a relatively simple tutorial has only 57 steps um, but I think you can learn a lot from the idea it uses the macros and extrusion and in general for a beginner tutorial This is a really good tutorial to get started Okay, so here I have actually already the final shape I just tested it and this is how it looks like so it's actually quite nice. These are the bevels and um, This is not connected so you can basically rotate and the designer used I see also the self cats animation to kind of make it animate um, so let's get started um, over here to load the tutorial. So I'm going to click play tutorial and I'm going to load it. It asks me to remove everything and I have to find this tutorial. It's over here. It's a simple metal door handle. So I got this tutorial and we get started. So it starts with a very basic shape, a cube. I'm just going to click next to fill it in, which basically creates the basic shape of the handle. And now what it does is it turns on the edge mode and once in edge mode it goes to have the option select all so all edges are selected and now it's going to fill it all of these edges i'm just going to click next to fill it in and you can see all of these are getting filled it's really nice the way the fillet works and now what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, uncheck clicking uh, not this we're going to go create a new shape okay we're going to go to cylinder and again i'm going to click next so in this case what it did is it filled in the value the entire cylinder shape but also it used the position it positioned at the height 100 and it rotated it by 90 so it's perfectly positioned over here and the idea here is that this cylinder is sticking out a little bit also so now and it's positioned over here so now we're going to use we turn off the edge mode and we select both shapes and we're going to use stitch and scoop to cut out this shape so if i click on this as you can see it creates a hole it cuts it out but we also want to keep this shape so this is going to be used for later so we use the keep subtracted object on and we finalize it so we have the cut but also back the shape okay so now what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new shape a new cylinder which is i'm going to click next to fill it in and it's going to do basically the same idea just a little bit smaller and a little bit wider here and we're going to finalize it and now we're going to select both of these cylinders to cut out the cylinder from this one so this basically creates oops i didn't click on it okay so you see it cuts out over here so basically we left kind of this uh, margin over here on top but also it has a hole but again we're going to keep this object so we have both of the objects and this is going to be now used to make the handle so we're going to uncheck this and work only with this one we turn on polygon selection so we can select the entire polygon over here and now we're going to go to extrusion and this is very interesting so we're going to extrude it only by one but we're going to go to advanced settings and use macros so we're going to do over here is add option and we're going to choose switch it to rotate so we're going to choose only one one transformation which is rotate and we're going to rotate it along the y around the y-axis by minus five so basically the y-axis is this so we kind of can rotate it this way around around the y-axis and we're going to make 18 steps so that's basically it and we're going to finalize it so look the magic how this happens what's going to happen it created basically this nice angle over here and now we're going to go again to extrusion to make a big extrusion of 100 without a macro just a big extrusion so we get this point over here and we finalize it so what this did basically now we're deselecting this basically created this nice very smooth rotation and it kept the entire structure so meaning kept the entire structure look we turn on our edge mode and we go to advanced settings loop selection 
and we have here a nice structure they didn't turn on the at the wireframe mode so it's hard to see but you can see i will be able to select this entire loop and this only happens when we have a nice structure and this is because we simply extruded it without creating a complex uh, structure so now we're going to fill it this as well adding the kind of bevel over here we click on next to fill in the values and look how nicely this is beveled and click to finalize so we are almost done we're just turning on edge mode now and we select all of the shapes so when you select all of the shapes you can apply the same material to each of them actually i want to show you something you can do it okay it's hard to see because you have multiple shapes but often you can apply to one and then use the eyedropper to click on the others it will copy but obviously it's easier you just do it at once so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a physical material now this is different a little bit than the render option when you go to render it's actually physics based rendering so it will look like 100 percent like in physics or at least as it should be and over here this is kind of emulated but it still may look quite nice and we can adjust it so it has a default color but we want to use it without adding a color so we're setting it to white so basically we use only the color that the physical material has but now we're going to add some changes to the physical material making it basically adding the shine the metalness looks a little bit more metalness and reducing the roughness to 0.4 and basically this makes it look like this you can play around with the uh, material and that's basically it that's the entire tutorial so i hope you learned something new and let me know in the comments if you want me to show anything else thanks for watching bye